Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Liberal demands GOP senator apologize to her kids. He spanks her instead. Alethea Torres Shapiro is among the activists who have been harassing GOP senators on the Hill in the wake of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation. What sets Shapiro apart, however, is her willingness to use her own children as pawns. When Shapiro demanded that Republican Senator Bill Cassidy apologize to her four young children for voting yes on Kavanaugh, Cassidy gave the mother a metaphorical spanking instead. Following Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation, Liberal activist Alethea Torres Shapiro wrote a Facebook post describing how she intends to use her four young children to shame these horrible atrocious men in the Senate now that they confirmed Kavanaugh. Tomorrow I plan on bird dogging in the Senate hallways and basement with all four of my kids, my daughters are 12, 10 and my boys are 5, 3. I want these horrible atrocious men to see the faces of the future that they are ruining and to know the tremendous pain women and men are feeling now that they confirmed Kavanaugh. So if you have one to two lines for me to tell them, or a message what should I say? I need help. I also want to address their Kavanaugh confirmation so what do I say? Odd, it would seem, that Shapiro cares so deeply about Kavanaugh's confirmation, yet she cannot even think of a single message for senators as to why the well-respected judge shouldn't sit on the Supreme Court. According to the Daily Caller, one of the lawmakers Shapiro approached was Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana. Shapiro caught Cassidy as he was walking at a brisk pace in a Senate office building. She asked, Senator Cassidy, can you please apologize to my children for ruining their futures? The senator calmly turned to the kids, removed his earbuds, and said, Hey, guess what? I know your parents are using you as tools. No, we're not using them as tools. We're not using them as tools. Shapiro interrupted. But, in the future, if somebody makes an allegation against you, and there's no proof for it, you will be okay. Thank you, Cassidy said before walking off. And, isn't that the truth? Thanks to the Democrats, the fight over Brett Kavanaugh turned into far more than an argument surrounding the judge's confirmation. We saw ourselves at a turning point as Americans. Would we reject the principle that you are innocent until proven guilty, a cornerstone of our judicial system, in favor of believing a woman with 36-year-old allegations and no evidence? Would we allow the militant feminists of the world to dictate that a woman must always be believed? even when she cannot prove her allegations and they could quite literally ruin someone's life? Thankfully, the Senate ultimately confirmed Brett Kavanaugh, preserving the premise that you are innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt and rejecting the agenda of the hashtag MeToo movement. Children like Shapiro should be very grateful that this was the outcome of the Kavanaugh ordeal. After all, how would Shapiro like it if, one day, a random girl accused one of her sons of a salacious sexual crime that he did not commit, and just because this girl said he did it, the boy ended up in prison. Should something like that ever happen, God forbid, Shapiro will only have herself to blame. The senator doesn't owe anyone an apology. His unabashed response to Alethea Torres Shapiro and her children, who she used as political pawns, was the spanking she deserved. In knowing about this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you.